It's a little odd around That's here. weird, yeah. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. We got something new today. Let's get to it. Here we have the 2021 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Custom 4x4. We'll do a review as I have just picked this truck up. It's a North Sky Blue Metallic. You will notice in the front there are cows to get air into the truck. It does have 20 inch painted aluminum wheels, which is a nice feature to have on the truck. As you see, it is a crew cab. They are some sizable steps here on the bumper that uh, actually this year they they made larger it does come with a control to let the tailgate down electronically as well as one in the cab uh, that is manual to put back there are many tie downs and extra places for those as you can see there is lights on the back and you do have a power outlet as well that is in there you'll have the different or at least the two trailer plugs so that's very convenient you have the backup camera the quality in my opinion it's not as sharp as it could be but it's pretty nice here's a better look at the steps it does come with a, a tow hitch and you do have a 17 inch spire tire underneath uh, they do, GM puts an extra thick coat of paint for a rocker panel, and they also do add the uh, bits and pieces at the handle. Now, the hood latch there, uh, it's, <laughs> it's actually a little hidden in there, and it is plastic, but, you know, I guess they're trying to cut any corner they can. The water pump itself is actually electric. You will see here that it has cutaways if you want to add fog lights, but it does come with two standard black towing hooks. Uh, here's a better shot of the cows on the side. Uh, I do believe you can do LED or halogen headlights. You do have the badges and the mirrors is, for me, were a little, little smaller than I would like. My F-150 has bigger ones. There is no gas lid on these things and there's no lock. So on to the interior. The the steering wheel itself, uh, it's a smaller steering wheel, but it's an extremely comfortable steering wheel. Uh, no huge bells and whistles as far as the interior goes. I mean, GM's really not upgraded in a few years. Big dash, uh, as you can see the reflection there, it's you can see that huge vent and uh, plenty of space, but you can see it in the window each uh, visor has a, a mirror itself. You'll see the OnStar uh, place. Now, probably my biggest gripe is these lights here. There's two in the front and two in the rear. And to be honest with you, even though I don't have a dark shot, they're not that impressive. They're just enough a lot, you know, just enough to see or do whatever you need. But uh, not like most vehicles. You do have a huge console with a lot of space. And those cutouts there, or those indentions, are actually a pretty nice feature for the front and back for tall people. You have your standard um, back seat uh, that will fold up, and plenty of room there to vents in the back. They are just straight if you turn them on. Uh, I did opt for um, a few things on this truck, but uh, they threw in the rubber mats. You do have electric parking brake on this truck standard on the door with your controls four-wheel high two-wheel high off-road uh, a trailer um, switch there and uh, also a lot of handles there <laughs> well as you can see my boy is excited standard cluster uh, the interior on this is actually black it looks great because it was sunny uh, the chrome around that Chevrolet bow tie there is annoying though when the light shines through uh, when the sun is straight ahead. A few details here, the 110 outlet um, and you have auto assist or auto shut off or engine, I can't remember what it's called right now. You have a standard um, two box configuration here with a standard glove box you can lock and then a small box to just put a few things away. Uh, overall you have four forward vents. You do have a small panel here, and you can utilize the screen. It is touch screen. 
uh, there's the quality of the backup camera, as I said. So there's just a few things that we uh, we we wanted to go over because we do actually now own this vehicle, and a lot of the reviews out there are just salesmen trying to sell it. Overall, she's peppy. I like the truck. Uh, there are things that obviously could be better, but I guess that's with anything. And there are a lot of things that I absolutely do like. So this does have the 2.7 four cylinder turbo. Well, what do you think of the truck? Well, it ain't your Peepaw Silverado. No, it's not your Peepaw Silverado. <laughs> it's definitely not your Peepaw's four cylinder. No, uh, you know, it's, they've come a long way. So um, what are some things you know, I mean, you're 14, about to be 15. You've got a classic build that you're working on, and you're kind of, you know, learning a lot of mechanical ropes as you go. Of course, you're working on a, a Ford F100, yeah. uh, 1953, but it's got what we've been calling the 302 Franken engine in it. <laughs> what impresses you, or what do you like about this particular truck? I really like that it's got 310 horsepower. That is pretty impressive. Yeah. yeah. Um, the 348 foot pound of torque at 1500 RPM. That's amazing. That, that that gives you a lot of pep in your step. Well, you know, and we know it's peppy. You know, we didn't break the law any, <laughs> but <laughs> but we do know it's peppy. Yeah. Uh, it's it's very impressive. It's very responsive. Um, I think the, uh, five, three, I, I need to look that up, but I believe it's 300 and maybe 60 or 70 pounds of torque mm -hmm. at like 4,500, uh, yeah, RPM. So, so it's got a crazy <laughs> amount of torque. Yeah, it does. And you know, it's a quiet engine. It, it has that classic four cylinder sound the dual overhead cam um pretty standard yeah. yeah um it's it's um all together i mean you know i was at first i was like a four cylinder in a full-size truck nah. nah turns out uh i mean it has you know the the whole displacement uh it has auto on and off uh, as you saw from the video and basically that's a weird feature for a guy, you know, I'm coming from, uh, I've got a V8 F-150 and, you know, this thing, I pull up to a stoplight and the engine shuts yeah. off and it's like, it's a little weird. Uh, the response time when you do go to gas is just a, um, just a fragment of a second, but it is weird. Um, it is strange. So it idles really, really low. Well, yeah, and that that's kind of neat. I mean, I feel like I've bought a computer with, uh, you know, a set of wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that's pretty. But now the technology side of it, um, it's you know, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, with the Bluetooth and all the the, you know, well, just everything. I mean, we love music. And yeah. what do you think of the sound system overall? You kind of have to crank it up a lot. You do have to crank it up a lot. It's such a, a but open we, cab. It is. I mean, you know, I went with obviously the the crew cab, so there's a lot more uh, airspace in there, mm -hmm. and so it does change the whole dynamics of like the super cab that I have with the F one fifty. So, um, you know, overall. Uh, as the video kind of states, you know, there were things as, uh, the video played and I was, uh, telling you about things, but, um, what, is there anything you don't like about the truck? I mean, uh, obviously there are. The interior has not changed. Yeah. So, at all. so GM is behind the game as far as, I mean, obviously Dodge has really i think probably taking the market there they they're constantly innovating upgrading. and upgrading uh ford same way uh but chevrolet gm yeah it's you know it's pretty much from what i've seen it's there's not yeah. a whole lot that's changed in a few years so you know that that needs to be taken care of but i mean you know it's it's nice yeah um you know 
that truck itself um, is in the 40s range. So, you know, it is a, a more economical um, option out there. If you need a four wheel drive truck, you want, a, you know, a lot of space and you want to try to save on gas. I mean, I don't think the, the fuel mileage isn't really that impressive. No, I mean, it's it's pretty much. I mean, you know, it's just a few mile an hour or a few miles per gallon more than, you know, your pretty much your standard V8s. But everything, has, the technology has changed so much. So you've got more efficient vehicles anyway. Um, but, oh, and the, the towing capacity, I think it's somewhere around 6,800 pounds. So, I mean, you're not going to pull, you know... Uh, a giant gooseneck. Uh, you, like yeah, you're not, you, you're not rolling up there with... You know with a, a heavy load but you know a two-man camper uh, a, a good pull behind you know you're not going to bring like your drag car in the big toy hauler you know no. but unless it's all flat and you got some <laughs> uh but overall i mean it, it gives you options it's by no means would it be a issue to haul a couple four-wheelers lawnmowers small stuff like that um, but 6,800 pounds is still, that's a lot of weight. Yeah, so that's a good bit. Yeah. Yeah. Standard 135 Ferguson tractor or something like that. You know, um, altogether, you know, I needed something that was just more of the cruising back and forth to, to the day job. Mm -hmm. Uh, and go to the beach. Yeah. Head to the <laughs> beach, you know, different trips and stuff like that. You know, something that, you know, just has, a uh, well, I just wanted a new truck too. Yeah. Yeah. Never done it before. No, I've always bought pre-owned. So, um, I always said I would never buy brand new off the lot. Um, I guess never say never. At all. At all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's enough for that. Uh, we hope that this has been uh, beneficial. If you're in the market and you're looking, maybe you're a Chevy guy, maybe you're not, you know, but maybe you're looking for something uh, that hits on a few things but you're not um you don't need like a ton of power or you're not really taxing but you'd like maybe that more um suv or car feel but you like the looks of a truck or you just want to you know just a small bed you know carry your mulch back and forth or whatever that may be four-wheel drive stuff yeah. like that this may be a good option for you um Overall, you need to always go out, check your reviews from everybody who's had it. This truck right now, we're only about, what, 300 miles yeah, on the truck? I think we hit 310 last night. Yeah, so uh, we're real fresh with it and uh, so far been very impressed with it. One other thing I don't like is whenever you crank the truck up, you have to turn the volume back up on the radio because it always turns it back down. Yeah, so you'll have to go into the settings and you have to choose and fix your your um you know, set your own volume level mm -hmm. for when the car or the truck cranks up so that was a little annoying at first but you got that figured out pretty quickly i'm pretty sure i did i think you did uh but it was at first it's like damn it you know so yeah. <laughs> but overall this is um so far been you know pretty, pretty cool pretty experience yeah um it's just right now at this time, it's it's hard to get them. Dealerships are sitting with empty lots, and it's hard to even get a deal on them because if you want a, you know, a bunch of people want a truck and they don't have a whole lot to hand out there, you know, yeah. they don't I mean, have to. Give they you don't a deal. have to give you a deal because somebody yeah. else gonna come along and get it. Yeah. So uh, the the color on that, I, I think I mentioned in the video, is North Sky uh, Blue. Metallic. Metallic. Metallic, yeah, blue metallic. So, anyway, we're going to end this one here. We do appreciate everybody stopping by. Go check out um, some of our other stuff, and we'll have plenty more videos coming up, not just truck reviews and stuff like that, but just, you know. Other things. Yeah, a lot of other things. Typical stuff, father son uh, conversations. Uh, we, we're into a lot of things. Music is one of our favorites. And uh, we'll probably daily life stuff. And we'll try to have some cool guests on here uh, going forward as well. Yeah. Yep. So until we meet again, my friends, we'll see you on the flip side.